Feed me, Spartas. The sacred gates of Sumeru open up. Don't move, Deva. I will not let you bring your fiery army in here. <laughs> and who's going to stop me? You little nothing. Keeper here, the town can sleep peacefully. I will be back. Helena, don't get so upset. We'll find your bracelet. Anything? Nothing, girls. The Mirror of Prophecy didn't say anything useful about the bracelet. <sighs> the Wood Sprite doesn't know anything. Helena, don't be so sad. Your bracelet will definitely show up. But for now, look! You like dancing, right? Well, tonight, the park will be hosting this big dancing competition. You need a distraction, so I signed up all of us. Snowy! How can you talk about dances? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That's a wise choice. Better drop out from the start. You should see what Cody and I prepared. We are so gonna win. And why do you think that, I wonder? We would totally outdance you two, hands down and eyes closed. Hey, you shouldn't mess with her. Hmm. We'll see about that. See you at the dancing floor. Snowy? When exactly does the competition begin? Welcome to the Heroes of Earth HQ. Here I have a telescope, some aliens' portraits. This one is from Enceladus. I need the drawing. <laughs> I can tell. Listen, I think this is the perfect place where we can test this. What's that? A girl's bracelet? This isn't just a girl's bracelet, Cody. It's magical, and in a moment, it's gonna turn me into a real wizard. Watch me! Nothing? That's strange. I must have put it on the wrong side. There we go. Now look what happens. Alex, listen, it's nothing personal, but it's the final tournament of the chess club in half an hour. I've been preparing for it for six months. <sighs> Fine, Cody, go already. All right, then, I'm off. Just pull down the hatch when you leave. <sighs> See you tonight. Hmm, maybe I'm supposed to press something? Whoa! Uh. Fire, fire, let the fire in. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Ah, uh, there you are. Did I really get it wrong and this is nothing more than just some kind of shiny, girly trinket? Whoa! Whoa, Whoa. unbelievable, I made it work. Okay, we'll continue this at the dance. Well, here I come, fairies. We are now on equal terms. Woo! I'm not late. Can you believe it? I actually won the final game. Well, almost. Hand me my fireballs. Oh, I think I forgot to bring them. You forgot to bring over my fireballs? Is there no brain in that head of yours? Huh? Oh, what? What's going on? Let's go. 
way cooler than that Alex Lewis boy. By the way, can't see him anywhere. He probably chickened out and didn't come. <laughs> oh, there they are. They came after all. I've been waiting for this moment for so How long. is he doing that? Mine now it looks like some kind of magic. Fire is at my command. Helena, and I'll tell you something, I think lad. he's wearing your bracelet. Magic is my passion. Magic is my thing. I have only one confession. I just want to be the king. Not again. What is he doing? No. Without a doubt, this is the Phantom. <laughs> What? Who dares to interrupt my performance? The show has to continue! Here comes my day, here comes my hour. The vicious flames will give me What? Power. What was that? I didn't know the Phantom wields the magic of fire. Or this is not the magic Phantom. Is my magic is my thing. Unbelievable! This is the fiery Deva! I need to run straight to Fableton and get my magical sword! Dare you get in my way? <laughs> I am the best! What's going on? I didn't mean to... No! It looks like something happened to Alex. Oh, where's Helena? Stop resisting me. Surrender your will. No! You need to go back to the cellar and let in the fiery army. No! I don't wanna! <laughs> Who are you trying to lie to? I can see. I see vanity. You want to be a wizard. You desire fame. I can give you all of that. Surrender to me! No! Aha! I got you! Elena! I'm sorry. I... I just wanted to become a wizard. Like you. What have you done to my bracelet? You dirty thief! How dare you, silly girl! Hey, hey! What's going on? No! Don't do it! Leave her alone! I'll do anything you want! Helena! Helena! Are you okay? And where's Alex? I don't think that was the real Alex. Peterson, start explaining what happened to him. And how would I know? At HQ today, he was playing with some bracelet. And then I went to the chess club and... Cody, where's your HQ? Hyper Portes. The gates to the world of fire open. Fantasy Patrol, you need to stop right now. <laughs> you can never stop the fiery Deva. My powerful army is coming. Hear that? Deva, that's a fiery genie. He's taken over Alex. And how are we supposed to stop him? It says here that we shouldn't make him angry. Anger only makes Deva stronger. All right. In that case, I'm gonna go try and talk to him. Helena, come back right now. Alex, it's me. I know you can hear me. Easy, easy. Everything's okay. Alex, I know that you really wanted to become a wizard. And that's why you took my bracelet. I get it. I was a regular girl my whole life. But you, you are a great guy without any magic. Remember that awesome fire show you did at the Magicians and Illusionists competition? That was without magic. I could never do that. And this evil is in the bracelet. Take it off, and then I'll be able to help you. Aha! I got you now, Deva! Ha 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 ha! And this time, I will make you go away! Fantasy Patrol! become a proper wizard, but I won't let you hurt her! You hear me?
Helena, please forgive me for the bracelet, if you can. And thank you for saving me. <laughs> Don't mention it. That's our job, after all. We are the Fantasy Patrol. <laughs> Speaking of Fantasy Patrol, Alex, swear that you'll keep everything you saw today a secret. I swear. Not a word to anyone. No one's gonna believe it anyway. By the way, do you maybe need some help? Obviously, I'm not a wizard, but... We do. There's one job perfect for you. I am sick of you! Go away! What is the point of all of these treasures? What is the point of all of this power? If there's no one to pass it on to... My dear niece. a very happy birthday. Together with the girls, we wrote a song for you. Ready, girls? One, two, three! How to spot your very friend among the hundreds of You came here to visit me? Everyone, I'd like you to meet my auntie. She's the Snow Queen. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Valerie, and that's... Oh, I've read a lot about you in books. Dear, so this is your home. Well, these living arrangements are far beneath you, Snow Maiden. Not at all, auntie. This place is very cozy. We decorated mm. it with my friends. And what is this ridiculous trinket? It's a present from my bunny. He made it for me himself. That's a present? <laughs> now this is a present worthy of my dear niece. Now let's go, my Snow Maiden. All right, your majesty. Hey, where are you going? Snowy! Oh my, what on earth just happened? Did you see how Snowy changed before leaving? It looks like the problem is the ice crown. Snowy was bewitched by she it. She was bewitched? Then we need to go save her. Helena, wait. Girls, I know what we should do. We need to get in touch with Santa Claus and tell him everything. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I recognize my sister. She was like that since childhood. Once, oh, I received a reindeer as a present, and she... Listen, Santa Claus, this is all very interesting, but could you please tell us what we should do now? How do we get Snowy back? Will you help us? But of course, my dear girls, I'll help you. I know how to deal with her. Now, what did you say? This has to be delivered now? Look, girls, don't you worry. I'm gonna deliver this package and... Oh, wait, Santa Claus! Too late. He's gone. We can't wait. Not now. We are going to the Snowland. Look here, my Snow Maiden. 
The entire Snowland, with all its treasures and riches, will one day be yours. I will teach you to conjure blizzards and snowstorms. Yes, Your Majesty. We've arrived. The Snowland. Boy, it is freezing here. And that's the entrance. So let's just go already. I will reveal to you all the secrets of ice magic. One day you will become a great and powerful witch. And together, we will rule the entire North. Just you and I. As you command, Your Majesty. Rise, my winds and storms at once. Lift my foes up from the ground, from the coldest of the snow. Rise, my fearless snow patrol! Whoa, these snowmen are seriously enormous! Dear snowman, could you kindly let us through, please? No, girls, I don't think this is going so well. <gasps> My dear child, come closer to me. Yes, your majesty. Give us back our Snowy! She is our best friend. And you cast a spell on her! You want your Snowy back? All right. If you recognize which Snowy is yours, I will let her go. If you don't, she will stay with me forever! <laughs> They're completely identical. Mary, maybe there's a special spell we could use? I'm looking, but there's okay. nothing. Hey, How could I recognize my friends? <gasps> what was that? That was the song we wrote for Snowy. How to spot one of your very best friends among the hundreds of people. I think our song is what we need. To hold her hand tight and to walk by her side. adorable little penguin. We did it! Snowy, our Snowy. Hey, that's not fair! You promised to let Snowy go if we recognized her. None of that matters. This is my kingdom and your Snowy will stay with me. Well, we are gonna see about that. Right there, sister. Why are you acting up again? Brother, I want to make the child my successor. She will be happy here with me. Grandpa! Oh, sister, my sister. Do you really think you can make anyone happy against their will? Have you asked Snowy what it is that she wants? Tell me then, my dear Snow Maiden, don't you want to become a great and powerful Snow Queen like your dear auntie? Auntie, please don't take it personally, but I don't want to be a queen at all. I want to be with my friends and live in the world of humans. Thank you so much, Santa Claus. Oh, your timing is perfect, because this lady is so mean. Well, actually, I don't think she's all that mean. She's just very lonely here, right, sister? So my auntie simply wanted to have a friend? 
Grandpa, tell me, do you only grant wishes on Christmas or other days too? Why, granddaughter? Do you have something particular in mind? In that case, I can grant your dearest wish right now. It's your birthday after all. Make a wish. I wish that my auntie the Snow Queen has a friend so she'll never feel lonely again. Holy crackers! I'm no longer alone. <laughs> Thank you so much, sweet Snowy. Snowy, I'd like the biggest piece. After all these crazy adventures, I'm really starving. I'll get it. <gasps> it's the snowman again. Stop right there! What do you need now? <laughs> Helena, seriously? It's just us. We came to congratulate Snowy. Snowy, happy birthday. Here, this is for you. It's ice cream. I've been thinking about how cool it must be to be a real queen. Hey, guys, look at that. Happy birthday, Snow Maiden. Our plans have changed. It's no longer your job to try and steal the keys from the keepers. You need to help them find the last one. World of clouds and thunderstorms thrusts against the sky. Mountains shake from its force, shaking low and high. Hmm, what can it be? Stop? World of clouds and thunderstorms. This is... <laughs> well, of course! Hey girls, 
Let's help him, huh? Ah, oh, Snowy, you always feel bad for everyone. We came here, actually, for the key of the wind, you know! The key? Well, this is sort of a magical key. It can even call up the wind as well. The wind? I have it. Find the harm. Then the key. The magical harp can put anyone right to sleep with its sweet music. It is protected by the cave trolls. Well, that's great. And how will we take this harp away from them? They won't give it to us just like that. Maybe we should try to trade it for something. <gasps> I've got it! Why don't we just trade Drakey for the harp? And then he'll just run right back to us! <laughs> Helena, stop it! Calm down, Drakey. Helena's just kidding. We're not going to give you away to anybody. Well then, we'll just take that old harp away by force! Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, holy mackerel! What a troll! Just look at him! The troll has the magical harp! Well, what's wrong now, Helena? Go and take the harp away from him. By force. Uh, no, no, no way, I won't! We've got to think of a plan. Well, why don't we just go up and ask him for it? Snowy! Hello there! Excuse us, please, but we are really badly in need of your heart. Could you maybe... give it to us? Who are you? We are the Fantasy Patrol. And we're leaving already. <laughs> we didn't mean to disturb you. Snowy, let's go. Go and take him. I don't need it anymore. Besides, the king's going to order my execution today. What? You're giving us the harp? Just like that? Well, thank you! Let's get going, girls! <laughs> oh, girls, I feel sorry for the poor troll. Right. We can't just leave straight away. <laughs> well, why? He told us himself that he doesn't need it anymore. Hey, don't cry. Tell us what happened. And we'll try to help you out. Nothing's going to save me now. When I found this harp, I became the only musician troll. I love playing so much, but the harp has a uh, peculiarity. Now, listen to me. I love music when I was young. Trillin' boom boom, trillin' boom boom. Became a magic harper, love. Trillin' boom boom, trillin' boom boom. A musician, I dreamt to be. Trillin' boom boom, trillin' boom boom. But as soon as I would start to sing, everyone would fall asleep. Everyone would fall asleep. Trillin' boom boom, trillin' boom boom, trillin' boom boom. Play, everybody falls asleep. And today the Troll King is getting married, and if I put them all to sleep, <laughs> I'm done for! <laughs> yeah, 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 that's bad. We've got to help. Hmm. I have an idea. <laughs> Watch out! If you play it bad... <laughs> Your head will come off! <laughs> so loud, so loud, so loud, the music will play. This song will surely make your day. Get on up and don't you yawn. And dance and dance, come on, come on. Let's make everyone happy now. 
Your feet can't stand, they just dance around. I will play as best I know. You start dancing head to toe. Let's all start up with a twist and shout. There's no way I'm stopping now. Rock and roll, fox trot and tango. Everyone will have a blast. Thank you. You really saved me. Well, you can keep it. Time to move on to something more contemporary. You're doing just fantastically. Of course, you're no match for me yet. But you sure do have talent. Okay, we've got to go now. to the kingdom of the air. Something bad has happened there. We have to help. We're the fantasy patrol. No way, girls. If I said that I won't go, it means that I won't go. Let's go, Drakey. All right then, Valerie. Don't wanna? Don't bother. We can do it without you. Oh, Helena. If Miss Yagard notices that we went and borrowed her mortar without asking... She won't notice. We'll be quick. Right in and right back out. I don't understand. Why didn't Valerie come along with us? We've arrived. Here it is. The Kingdom of the Air.
Hey, girls! Come over here! Check out who I found over here! <laughs> what is this? A toy or something? No, these are called propeller heads. The residents of the Kingdom of the Air. Trouble! We are in trouble! You poor thing! Listen, girls, I don't think he's feeling well. Uh, our Queen Celeste, that way! So, where is this queen of yours? Her Majesty! Our Queen Celeste! Come on, girls, hurry! Your Majesty, what happened? Tower, the red crystal... Something happened to it and... The magic circle disappeared. Without it, we will perish. So sadful, beauteous girl. Ah, uh, just remembered one of my best friends. Well, ex best friends. Ex friend? How come? Tell away. You'll feel betterish. Better, you think? Back when I was just eight years old, one day I went out to play. Suddenly it got windy. The wind picked up, and my favorite hat went and flew off into the sky. I started chasing it. By that time, I had already finished up my first year of the School of Magic, so I knew how to do a thing. The wind was carrying my hat higher and higher, but I didn't give up, and finally I caught it. But when I looked back at the ground, I became really afraid and lost control over my magic. I started feeling very dizzy and fell straight down to the earth. And that's when Celeste appeared. She saved my life and even gave me back my hat. We became good friends. Every day I would visit Celeste on her island of clouds, and we would have lots of fun together. <laughs> Celeste made friendship bracelets for us, and we swore to stay best friends forever. But soon summer break was over, and I had to return back to my school of magic. It's incredible! How is it so huge? Oh, and what is that? <laughs> and then what? You never, ever, ever saw that Celeste girl again? Why do you think that? I saw her. A year passed. Summer break came once again, and I went to visit Celeste. But she had already found new friends. Hey, Celeste, I'm here. I came back. And they weren't happy to see me at all. Your Majesty, let's go back to the castle. <laughs> they told me that Celeste had forgotten me and that I was no good to her anymore. So then, I left. I should go check on how the girls are doing. Without me, they'll never manage. Clearly, the tower needs the crystal to function. <gasps> oh, so what do we do now? Oh! Ah! 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 Oh! <laughs> Good thinking, Mary. Ah! Ah! Just like I said. You'll never manage without me. Valerie! Valerie! The crystal's broken. It needs to be replaced with something. Hmm. Huh. And what if we... Let's give it a try.
Celeste. Well, since everything's back to normal, we'll go now. Valerie, you saved us. Thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. All right, girls, we should go. Valerie, wait a minute, don't go! I... I wanted to ask you... Why didn't you want to hang out with me again? We were such good friends. I didn't want to? It was you who didn't want to see me again. Your friends told me all about it. But I never said anything like that. Hurry, Valerie will be here soon. Can you imagine what she's like? She's just amazing and kind and so funny. She's my best friend. Hmm. Aguel, help me string up the lights. And Neville, we should put the snacks right here. Valerie's coming any moment. Oh, girls, I can't wait to introduce you. You'll just love her. Hmm. Oh, I've missed her so badly. I haven't seen her for so many days. I completely forgot about Valerie's present. Oh, one moment. <laughs> <laughs> A present from my great-grandma, the Southern Breeze. Huh? Did the bell ring? That was Valerie. She left. She left? Why? She said to tell you that you two are no longer friends. She doesn't want to see you anymore. She's now friends with some other really cool fairies. I don't believe that. Valerie! Valerie asked us to give you this. Celeste? How could I have believed them? I'm so sorry, Valerie. No, I'm really sorry. Here, I kept the bracelet safe, but if you think you don't need it anymore... I do! Thank you, Celeste. Best friends forever? <laughs> <laughs> Celeste, this is Snowy, Mary, and Helena. And this is Celeste. She's my best friend. Valerie, I have a small present for you. This is something I got from my great-grandma, Breeze. <gasps> Take it. <gasps> this is the key of the air. It's so beautiful. What was it that the mirror said? Mountains shake from its force, shaking low and high. <gasps> so that was a puzzle all about the kingdom of the air. My master, I did everything as you told me. The Fantasy Patrol has all the keys. Wonderful. And now we just need to finish our business. <laughs> <laughs>